California Climate for Jobs. Hi, I'm Joe Danini. I'm a business attorney and some timely thoughts I want to share with you just to get us to think about jobs. Imagine that. Not a new word. We hear it all the time. It dominates the political landscape. Jobs, jobs, jobs. And we know that small businesses are the engine that creates and drives the existence of the jobs that we see in our country. But in California, are we doing everything that we can to maximize the business climate for entrepreneurs and business owners? Well, let's take a look. Currently, we know that California does not rank as high as other states in terms of the business climate and creating an environment for companies to do business. It doesn't take studies and stats or rocket science to know that neighboring states have greater opportunities in terms of how they have their climate structured for businesses to start, grow, and be maintained. Well, I certainly am not going to sit here and say that I have all the answers, but after many years of being a business owner, a professor, and a lawyer representing businesses of all sizes and kinds with different industries, I think I have a few things that I just want us to think about and share. First, in California, for example, we have a tax of $800. That is our minimum tax, regardless if your business does any income or not. You have to pay that $800 per year as the minimum tax. Now, we all know, for those of us who have started businesses, it's risk, and every dollar counts. Something to think about. Maybe we don't charge new businesses that tax for a year or two in terms of a deferral or in terms of some other postponement of the fee or and, both words, or, or and, we lower it to be comparable to other states in the union that are far less. Again, a small item, something to think about too. Let's embrace crowdfunding. Most of us have heard that equity crowdfunding is now legal. We know the donation-based model with Kickstarter and other similar companies has been going very, very well. But there are states who are being in the forefront with allowing access to capital through raising money through in-state exemptions. That is already happening in Georgia. Why can't it happen in California to get our business people access to capital from the crowds? Something to think about. Number three, technology. We're supposed to be leaders in technology. Why aren't we leading the way with our government by increasing our technology so that business processings, business filings, and business compliance can be the most efficient it can be? Other states are already doing this. Why aren't we? Now again, these are just areas that are the icing of the cake. The California business cake is multi-layered and very deep. I share these just for us to think. We just want to think because these types of issues that I brought up, they're manageable bipartisan efforts that can get the reputation of California's business climate to match or exceed the reputation of California's weather climate. I'm Joe Danini and thanks for joining me.